Hello everybody, how is it going? So, today, we're playing some Dofi in OPO5, where we got, I think, like, three games against this NL. Um, honestly, I don't think uh, Dofi is super great, but I do think he has a pretty good matchup into NL alongside Corazon. <laughs> That's the one matchup that Green, uh, or Green, I guess the, the Don Quixote brothers can kind of take a win on that one, but... Yeah, turn one, play baby five. Turn two, search with the baby five. They play Ashura, you really don't have anything to do. Uh, but honestly, there's no reason to swing seven there. I'd rather him just counter a five, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, he clears the baby five, gives me a life, plays Ohm. And I was like, sweet, this'll be great if I can find Birdcage. But obviously the baby five went down. And uh, we don't really have a great play, because I'd rather I definitely want a 7 cost kid next turn, so it's like I guess we could play sugar and then just try to clear either the Ohm or the Holy, or we just swing at the Shura. I don't know, it's an awkward awkward kind of state, because I wanted to get the Queen down, but I didn't want a minus effect on the Queen, because I wanted to be at 7 Dawn the following turn, because my hand doesn't really have many great plays outside of just playing on curb, so... Yeah, I think we just play queen with no effect after clearing the Shura. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I think Birdcage is great into, you know, the board where, you know, NL does have the Ohm Holy. Kind of just gives them, you know, their one turn to swing, and that's really it. But I don't think we actually end up finding it, which is unfortunate. Because I was like, oh, it's, it's going to be great here. You know, it'll get it'll see its value. But passing it back after playing the queen, he attacks me for six. Uh, yeah, we'll counter. We don't have a lot of counter in hand, so if he wants to keep swinging sixes, we'll probably we'll eventually take one and then uh, just uh, hopefully counter out the others. He yeah misplays there a bit, thinking he was on two life. <laughs> I think he says oops or something. Yeah, it happens. I, I do that too when I'm playing an L sometimes, or I just always assume that I'm at like 2 or 1 for the, the plus 1 on Ohm. Then he plays another Ohm and hits the Holy again, and I'm like, where is my Birdcage? Eh, still no Birdcage. I don't know, I feel like with this version of Dofi, you know, after playing the, the film one for so long, uh, it just like, I, f I feel like your hand just dwindles so fast. Like you, there's, it's like rare that you get to build a lot of hand advantage. You know, with the film engine, obviously you have Nami, you have Tesoro. Uh, yeah, there's just more ways to replenish your hand, but in this version, uh, not really, not really. But I should have played Kid first, by the way, and swung six at the Ohm to at least get two two Ks from him. But it's all good. Also, I swung with the Queen just because I'd rather him swing. I don't know. I'm I'm six K too. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't correct to swing with the Queen. I don't know. I'm just trying to pressure down some of his board because the board's kind of crazy right now. And yeah, if he wants to go queen, uh, we can... Oh yeah, we can just restand it. Duh, there we go. <laughs> and he only realistically has two more swings at me. So if you take one, and then counter the other. Unless he goes seven, then he only has the one swing at me. So, uh, we take those. Uh, yep, nothing really to do on eight dawn. We're probably not going to kid effect this turn. I don't know, I feel like this game was just super awkward. <laughs> like... We didn't really see Diamantes, which is always just a good play in this deck. Um, we saw the one Searcher, but it didn't really find us. What if it found us a 10 drop, which is good in the matchup, but I feel like our mid game was very lacking here. The kid was obviously good, but him just having double Ohm and I think both of them hit Holy is kind of crazy. Just, um, I don't know, that, that board is just, it's two 6Ks, two 5Ks. It's like, that board's kind of crazy. And, uh, we're very slowly building up our board a bit. Uh, I'm kind of iffy on Pika. He's, he's all right. He works well with Birdcage, but that's really it. Having to pay one at the end of your turn is kind of meh. I haven't messed with this list a ton. I think this is a list that I tried like before we even got to OPO5. And then I was just, I looked at it and I was like messing with it a little bit, but yeah. Oh yeah, I, oh, there's the Birdcage. <laughs> um, we're probably not even gonna play it because we have 10 Dofi next turn. But Tendofi might just get us killed. Uh, he's going a bunch of fives. Yep. Unfortunate Yamato got to pop the queen, but you know, it'd be like that. 
I like can counter this. It just never works out, right? Because I think it like could work out, I guess. Depending on, you know, if I can clear some of his board. And then just be able to freeze his leader. Plus two other characters. So I could live. Birdcage also isn't bad. But I still could die. <laughs> um, yeah, I do end up bird gauging. I think I somehow live this turn, and I don't really know why. So we'll go eight at him. He'll take. I mean, he could definitely just split with Yamato and oh, what's it called? His leader, and just kill me. But for some reason, I think I live. I don't know why. He's thinking on the eight K hit. I don't really know why he's thinking too much. I mean. He can just freely take these and go down to one, and it's like not that bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not gonna swing with leader because there's no reason to. We're just gonna pass. <laughs> we'll restand Pika for fun. And yeah, right here, I don't really know why I lived this turn, but I do remember living this turn. Ah, uh, maybe he was just trying to play around a potential trigger in life. Because I mean, if he swings baseline with Yamato, I just use a 2k thingy. Oh no, he goes a kid. I don't know why he went a kid when I have two cards in hand, but I mean, we'll just spider's web restand it. And now, like, if he doesn't have another Yamato, there's some reality where I could go for game, but it was still pretty unlikely, even if he didn't have this Yamato that he's playing right now. Yeah, he'll heal one, and then he'll just pass. And, uh, like, ten, 10 Dofi is, like, good here, but, uh, he didn't, him not swinging with his leader makes it not that good. I guess I could try to, you know, like, clear the ohms. And then just play 10 drop and freeze like leader Yamato. But he didn't swing with the uh, leader. So we're kind of cooked. <laughs> It'd just be like that. I play it out just because I'm like whatever. I'm trying to think if there's any world where I live. Maybe, maybe if he swings with leader first and gets a punk Gibson. And I get a punk Gibson trigger. That's like about it. Yeah we'll freeze what we can. Swing with the kid. Boost our leader. He's obviously just going to take. And uh, the Thunderbolts, the Pika. Nah, yeah, just let it go. The game is over. It just doesn't matter. Unless we hit uh, the Ill Punk Gibson trigger. And he doesn't think to swing with Shirahoshi. That's like the only reality where we live. Yeah, he just goes 6. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm dead. It's fun. It'd be funny if he was getting Yamato again. There's just no reason. But we rematch again. We go 2nd. We see we mulligan that hand. That hand was decent, but I don't know. I think I was just looking for Birdcage because it's the new card and I want to play it. <laughs> Turn one. I might play the Sugar. It's not the worst. Okay, I don't. I could have, though. <laughs> it could. I mean, the only really play you'd have is like Holy or Sure, right? So, yeah. Turns out he is neither, so it didn't matter if I played it or not. And we pick up another Sugar. On four dawn, we still kind of have nothing to do. We'll just go five. He'll take. And uh, here's the ill play around Gedatsu. <laughs> so we just play double sugar. Pretty sure that's what I end up doing. Yeah, let's go. Double sugar. It's like not the worst. It's also not the best. I mean, at least after this Gedatsu turn, he need he kind of still has to deal with one of them. So that's good. I'll go five at life. I'll count it for two. Because I, I mean, I kind of assume he's going to swing with Sanji, but he doesn't. So then I'll just tap the Sanji. And he'll pass. Pick up the Mach Vice. Honestly, the card's pretty good. Like, it, uh... It restanding Dawn at the end of the turn is kind of like whatever. But being, I think it taps a five or less. And it's searchable off baby five. And it has a 1k counter. It's pretty good. It's good when you have Birdcage up. And you can just tap something that'll die to Birdcage. So, it's pretty good. I will just swing six at Sanji, play Diamante. Now, Diamante. Diamante in this deck feels great. Because his restand effect is basically free. As long as you swung, you know, seven with him. You know, you just always have him restanding at the end of the turn. So, yeah. Very, very good card in Dofi. He seems kind of meh in Corazon just because you have to leave two Dawn up. He still needs a Dawn, you know. It's just kind of awkward. But we tap the Gadatsu with our Sugar. He's just going to give us a free block, which I'll just take. And then he'll probably just clear it with the Sanji, and that's fine. <laughs> I mean, at least I got him to rest the Sanji. We're on 8 Dawn, 
So it looks like one Dawn is going to my Diamante, <laughs> and we're probably just playing Kid. We don't have a 10 drop Dofi in hand, so we're not really gonna play for 10 drop Dofi. We're just gonna spam some kids. So yeah, we'll play seven drop, boost up our leader. We'll go six at Gadatsu. It's already pretty low in hand size. He also like didn't hit off that ohm, which was pretty good for me. He will save a Gadatsu with a Gadatsu. All right, word. Immediately drops down the Yamato. Yeah, it gets pretty good value on the Diamante, but thankfully it could not hit the kid, which is pretty good. Kid is definitely gonna help me here trade into his board. We get a spider web, no reason to do that. He already can't swing with his leader or the ohm, so yeah, don't care about that. <clears throat> uh, we have to play the other kid first. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is like messed up right now. What's going on? Uh, but yeah, we'll play another kid, then we'll swing with the other one. Go eight at the Gidatsu. And I imagine he's just gonna let it go, only having three cards in hand. Uh, we have two two cost events, so we're just gonna swing seven at life. I think he'd take it regardless because he's low in hand size, so we'll do that and we'll pass. The spider's web should help us defend our kids from getting, you know, attacked by the Yamatos. So that's good. And that's exactly what it does. Obviously it's only a 2k counter, so I'm just gonna drop that, but if I need the spider's web, that's chill. Yeah, if he goes 10 here, we'll just spider's web. And we're feeling fine about that. And with him being so low in hand size, we might bother contesting the uh, his top end here. We obviously can't 10 Dofi because we've been playing for Kid, but... <clears throat> This turn, I think we're at 9, so we can just only use one of the kid effects, and I think it's mostly fine. Just debating what I want to play here to, like, spend some Dawn for the kids. I think I get down the Pika just because it has no counter. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Pika seems kind of meh. I don't know. We'll go 9 at the NL, boost up our leader by 1. Uh, he can feel free to trash a life or give me 2 cards. Trash is a life. Cool. We'll just go 9 at it again. Not going to use that kid, so we can 10 Dofi next turn. And then we'll go 9 at the Yamato. Again, just forcing him to drop cards in this spot's pretty good for me. Only has, you know, 4 in hand, 1 life. Any top end here is pretty good, though. You know, Katakuri could heal him with the Shura. Yamato will obviously just heal him. 7 Mom is kind of bad, because I'd probably just trash, because I have... Two big bodies and like a pretty big body. Okay, so yeah, we save one of the kids. He uh, swings six with leader. I kind of want to punk Gibson. I think it's fine to use it. Yeah, we'll tap the ohm because we're gonna Dofi. So we get max value off the Dofi if we tap that. Uh, he'll play Yamato and it'll pass. We're at 10 Dawn now. So <laughs> we'll slam the 10 Dofi. We're very, very safe. Our leader's going to be a 7k. Um, yeah, I mean, we're establishing... Our board is looking kind of crazy now. We're looking good. But, yeah, we'll go 6 with Pika. He'll kind of for 2. And we have 3 swings. He So we can technically put him to 0 life. If he has to, you know, take all these. So, yep, we'll swing 8 twice. He'll take both. Boosting our leader up to 7. He'll heal. And now he kind of has to defend this unless he has another top end in hand. And even if he does have another top end, like, I, I don't think he lives. Because I have, what, two 8Ks, a 6K, a 10K. Um, as long as I can defend most of my board, which shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, he's just going to go 11. Which is, like, the exact amount of counter I have in hand to get out of this. Which is annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. We're still going to do it. Because, I mean, whatever, we can't die. 7 and L doesn't kill us. 8-cat probably wants to go for something on our board. I don't know. It might have been better for him to just heal himself there. Because we're definitely just going to go for a game. We'll just go 6 at life. Put him on have a 2k. He doesn't have it. So we'll discard one and heal. And then we can pretty much just swing the bigger bodies and it's just game. Because, and I mean, unless he gets like a Beji and a Sanji trigger or something crazy like that. Also, Pika, I think, was the most vulnerable, so that's why we're going to swing with that first. We'll go 8 with Kid. We, we know he, he can't counter out of it because he has no Dawn up. He'll just take, guess the Veggie. It, it doesn't matter, though. <laughs> we'll just 
Slam four on leader, sure. I could have just went seven there and didn't. It, it was guaranteed. I should have went a five and risked it. <laughs> but, yep. Going into the third game. Hand is, is decent. We see a searcher, we see Diamante. We're going first, so I mean, kind of fit the curve a bit. I also, I could have played baby five turn one. I'm not sure exactly why I didn't. I think I was just like, turn one, no play best. Just because most of the decks this format don't really have a turn one play. Outside of, I guess, Sakazuki does sometimes with brand new. Purple Luffy never does. And now, again, it's like just Shura. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Muscle never read that pass. Probably should have got down the baby five. I don't think there's anything that would have punished that there. But we do attack him for six. He gets a Shura Hoshi. That card's pretty good. We'll play baby five. Probably just grab some top end because we don't have any in hand. We, we know that baby five is gone. Still no birdcage. I, I swear, I, th I think this game I, I end up getting it at like a decent point in the game. We'll see though. Trades his Shura with my baby five. And then they'll just go five at me. I'll eat that. Pick up a 2k counter baby five. And I imagine Ohm Holy is the play here. Yep, plays the Ohm. Finds the Holy. Oh no, it's happening. Top deck birdcage. Nope, <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, we'll clear the Shura. And then just play Diamante. At least Diamante is pretty decent at fighting back on board because, you know, he just restands himself, so. Yeah, kind of hard to swing back on him. Unless he has, like, a. Uh, unless he hits, like, a Thunderbolt out of life. Or just plays a Thunderbolt. But he's gonna tap down. Tap down? I guess, yeah, tap down too. <laughs> and play the Shura. Finds a Gadatsu. Uh, Gadatsu's probably not gonna get any value anymore. He'll swing at me for five. I'll take the free block because I have the spider's web. And if he wants to try to overcommit into the Diamante, we can just, you know, use that to get out and restand him and stuff. This turn, kind of meh. We're probably just going to play the Mach Vice, which is funny. And just make sure we clear that Ohm. <laughs> yeah. Mach Vice is such a funny card. He just looks funny. I, like, barely remember him from Dressrosa, but it's just, <laughs> it's just funny. We'll go 7 at the Ohm. I think he blocks with the Sanji here, and I don't really know why, because, like, I have a 2 Dawn left, so you know it's going to be, like, 7-7, seven, seven, right? Because what am I, what else am I doing for 2 Dawn outside of maybe a Baby 5 or a Sugar? But wouldn't I have just got the Sugar? I don't know. <laughs> I guess there's a couple different things, but Sugar into, like, an already filled board state feels a little bit bad. But he does block it and then counter, which is fair. I still cleared a portion of his board with the Sanji, so I mean, still kind of did what I wanted to do, so it's all good. I was going to say, where'd that third Dawn come from? <laughs> I forgot Mach Vice just gives you an extra Dawn at the end. I forget if there's a condition to it or not, but he's going to 8-cat my Diamante. Very annoying. We'll take the 5. Not going to take that 5. I doubt it, at least. Yeah, we'll counter for 2. And we'll pass. No really good plays here, but we can pretty freely queen because we're on 9 Dawn, and next turn we'll still be at 10, so the Dawn minus effect is kind of free for us this turn. I'm just going to go 5 with the dog, because I kind of doubt he wants to defend it. No, he does. Alright, fair enough. We we have nothing else to do with our Dawn, so we're probably just playing queen, and then so we'll, we'll guarantee clear the holy, unless he wants to drop a very large amount of cards. We also could go 5 again at the Holy and play that Pika, but I was like, nah. Pika is not worth it. And yeah, we'll go 4 down on leader. Swing at Holy for 9. Just make sure it is gone. And pass. Next turn, we'll hope we have a decent 10 Dofi setup. It's like, kind of as long as he swings with like leader and Katakuri. We're in a safe enough spot that like 10 drop Dofi feels fine. Uh, again. If he wants to swing just five, I'm gonna free block with queen. And if he wants to go eight at queen, I'll just restand it with the spider's web. But he goes eight at mock vice, so I mean it still works out with uh, spider's web. Where I get my blocker back up, and then uh, obviously still save the mock vice. He's just gonna go seven at it. I could block in two k, and then he has three dawn. Could go eight with uh, ohm or something. And I like it. Saving it felt a little bit bad there if he did that, but just place on the holy, which I mean, I guess. Sure. But yeah, we do get a good 10 drop, so we can't complain at that. 
And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna swing with stuff. <laughs> Probably not the queen, just because I don't have a spider's web. Oh no, we do. Yeah, what could go wrong? <laughs> if he wants to swing at the queen, that's fine. Only two real attackers. Got a six at mock vice. I'm gonna try to just keep around as much of my board as possible. This mock vice could just get Yamato, so. I assume that he doesn't have it because he's doing this. Maybe he, maybe he just has it. Nope, he has another 7 and 0. So I guess if he really wants to clear the mock vice, he can. <laughs> Probably he'll go after the queen, right? Unless he has another thing to do for 3 dawn. No, he doesn't. So he goes 10 at queen. We'll just let him go. That's fine. And we'll test our luck at clearing a top end here, maybe. I kind of doubt he'll trash a life for an L at this point. We're definitely just going to 10 Dofi again. Because, like, why not? We'll go 10 and L. He will, yeah, he'll just let it go. So, 10 Dofi is pretty safe. We will freeze all his bigger guys. And I don't swing with anything. Just because giving him a, you know, even just one cycle there. Could get him a trigger. I could find him, you know, another top end that he wants to heal with. So, yeah. He's just going to go 5 at us. I'm going to take... Just because I need some plays. I guess, you know, Queen for next turn isn't terrible. He's going to play Sanji and then Shirahoshi. Probably play, like, Shirahoshi before Sanji just to see if you get a better play. But I guess their only better play there is a top end, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to go Life. Because I should be able to get game, unless there's just a trigger that uh, annihilates me. We'll see, though. We sadly don't have, like, a Sugar or an Izo in hand to, to tap his Sanji. I was trying to think if there was any other cards that could tap it. Yeah, he'll take the first 10, I assume. Okay, he takes the second 10. So, I kind of, I don't want to like super overcommit, but we'll go nine. And if he counters out of this, we can just play queen and we should be able to live. And that is what happens. I just got like major deja vu. I don't know why. That was weird. I feel like <laughs> maybe when I was playing or testing this deck earlier on, that exact thing happened. I don't know, but we'll play Queen. I should have just swung with Leader. I don't really know why I didn't. I got distracted, but might have a Yamato if he's swinging six. Should be pretty easy to defend our board, unless he goes after Mach Vice. Then we're a little bit sad. <laughs> but he goes six. Um, yeah, these are all pretty easy defends. We will be fine. And I, I don't even know if like I think he just. Is supposed to try to go for a game. I get a Punk Gibson. So, I mean, maybe if he, he like, pre planned on preserving the Sanji, he, uh, he tries to go for a game there. But, yeah. Does play the Yamato. So, again, like, triggers could obliterate us, but I kind of doubt it. We have five swings, and two of them being very big. So, it should be pretty easy. We'll go ten. But yeah, that Punk Gibson was pretty good. <laughs> Definitely would have been a bit harder. To go for game here. And I think, yeah, he gets another Sanji trigger. But at this point, you know, it doesn't matter. Because he has no cards now. So we'll just go 5. He'll eat it. And it doesn't really matter what we swing with here. We'll go Queen for 7. And then he has to block. And then we just swing with Dofi. And that is the game. But, uh, yeah. I know uh, this testing was only really against NL. But I hopped on. <laughs> I played against NL. I'm like, damn, I got smoked. Like, let me... Let me rematch, because I remember this matchup being, like, pretty okay. And then, uh, yeah, we got the other two. Um, Dofi is cool. I think it's funny. I don't think I saw really any birdcage at all. So, I had it, I had it like, game one. And that was really it. But it wasn't until the end. Um, I don't know. The deck is cool. Uh, I think the film variant might still be stronger. Just because, I don't know. I feel like you run out of cards so quick in this version. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.